cool. Great. Yeah. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm Santiago. Maisha. I'm Crystal. I'm mixed Chinese. I am half Filipino and half Mexican. Japanese and African American. And I'm half Filipino, half white. Well, growing up, there was like a large sense of fitting in with the Asian American community, but there was also like a large sense of not fitting in anywhere. So I was in a community that was mostly all white and immediately they saw me, especially with like tan skin and they just assumed that I was Hispanic. Uh, being a part of different cultures affected me by sometimes making me feel like I wasn't enough as a part of one or the other. Growing up, I just wanted to be white and that's like a narrative that I've heard a lot about like especially people of color in the United States. I really wanted to fit in and be white like my like peers around me. Sometimes I felt like I was less Mexican than I was Filipino. I was really uh, used to looking different even though I felt the exact same as all the people around me. Um, it was always kind of a question of like where do I fit in and do I even fit in anywhere? I felt like I could relate more to my Filipino side than my Mexican side, even though they were all my family. No matter where I am, it's kind of like um, a domestic foreigner experience. I think a misconception is that all the mixed people there had the same experience being mixed. People, a lot of people assume I spoke Spanish um, because I said I'm Mexican and my name is Santiago, which is a common name in Latin America. You kind of have to choose one that you have to like pick which one that you like identify more with. There's another sense that like because like not both of my parents are Chinese or like even Asian that I would be like unfamiliar with Asian culture. When I would be surrounded by Asian people it's like oh like you're so white or you're surrounded by white people, it's like, you're so different, like both sides that you're in, you're just, you don't quite fit in. But at the end of the day, like that is still who you are. Something really, really frustrating that I have found about being mixed is that people just like, are like, wow, you're so exotic. People need to stop saying that, uh, People, like interracial couples are gonna have beautiful babies. That makes me really uncomfortable. And it's one of those like positive stereotypes. I think people say it as a compliment, but it's very weird to say that, that like, you know, they look so exotic, like blah, blah, like, that's a really weird to me. Whenever I meet other Filipino people and they find out I'm Filipino, uh, oftentimes they get excited um, just cause like, oh, there's another person I can relate to. Um, and my mom is the exact same way. I've seen her like in grocery stores, just like, uh, you know, like doing her shopping and then someone asks her like, are you Filipino? Or someone asks her something in Tagalog and you know, she responds and then they get excited and maybe start talking even though they know like nothing about each other. Meeting some Latino and some Mexican people, there's also that sort of solidarity where you're like, you're excited about each other. Um, and that really like um, makes me happy to uh, feel connected and it makes me happy that like that's a common thread between the cultures. Like I've grown to just be very proud of like my Asian side since it's something that like growing up I tried to repress so much and tried to hide, especially because at first glance I might not necessarily look Filipino. So that's definitely something that I've grown to be proud of and tried to embrace as much as I can. I get to experience two really great cultures. Like I have like my foot in both. Because I struggle like with myself and my identity and all that, um, and like with my culture, that I really try to understand other people's cultures and the way that they're struggling with their own identities. We really are in a unique position to where we can relate and fit in with like many different groups of people. There's just more you're exposed to, and it's really hard to be like narrow-minded when you're so exposed to so many different people and cultures um, pretty much all the time. So I think that's a really great part. I'm proud of the fact that um, I can say that I'm Japanese and I'm black. Don't feel like you're not enough of something. If people are thinking that you're 
not enough of something, then they're not worth your time anyways. Find a community who will support you. Like who you are, no matter how much you feel a part of something or not, you, you are um, the definition of what that culture is. Uh, what I've learned just growing up and moving around a lot is that you are both. Like you genetically are both and you can embrace both sides of the culture and 